Hello guys, I'm Amit. Couple of days ago on one of my video of how to remember the sections for TDS, one of my subscriber commented, is there any tricks for information technology app? Well, I did have some tricks on by which I remember the sections. I used to understand the concept of each and every section and relate it and group it. And that's the how I used to remember it. So I am making this video and sharing that trick with you all. And one of the things which I would like to share is on some of the tricks, on some of the sections, I was not able to figure out anything, any logic. So I used some of the tricks given by uh, some of the private tutors or well, faculties in that field. But I would like to tell you that I'm not promoting that and I'm not saying they are good. Either And also I'm not saying they are bad because I did my schooling or my uh, learning by myself. I did self-study for that subject. So I cannot comment on them. So with that disclaimer, let's start. Part 4 Signature Misuse Now before moving to Signature Misuse, the we already did with a contract list and it had section 72 and 72A. But the series was 71, 72, 72A, 73 and 74. So we are doing this right now because the series must not be missed out. So 71, 73 and 74. Let's recall for a moment of 72 and 72A. Uh, 72 was for penalty for breach of confidentiality and privacy of the information that is acquired because of the Information Technology Act. While 72A was punishment for disclosure of information in breach of a lawful contract. Now we can move on to 71, 73 and 74. Think of it as a staircase or a domino. Okay. It will fall one after the other. That is 71, 73 and 74. Penalty for misrepresentation. Now 71 what says is of a person goes to a certifying authority to get us the electronic signature. One. Second situation, if a person goes to the controller to issue him a certificate for and grant him the license for certifying as a certifying authority, so that person, so the applicant or that person can issue electronic signatures. Two things, first is getting the electronic signature and second is getting the license for certifying, to be a certifying authority. In both the cases, if the information provided by the applicant is misrepresented or any facts are suppressed or false information is given then section 71 penalty will be applicable now next scenario 73 of course i got all suppose as a con as an certifying authority not the controller but the certifying authority got all the information and now i it's my it's my role as a certifying authority to issue electronic signature certificate but the information is false. For example, the applicant's name is ABC and I issue electronic signature certificate for XYZ. This false particular, then 73 penalty will be applicable. Okay. Next step is 74. Publication for fraudulent purposes. What that is, if I received an electronic, electronic signature certificate and I did it with, uh, you know, I provided the correct information, the, the issuer has also given me the signature with correct particulars but now if I as a holder of my signature if I'm using it for fraudulent purposes then section 74 will be applicable okay so 71 73 and 74 71 is for application 73 is for issuing and 74 is having but you are using it for fraudulent purposes now 14 50 and 16 before moving on to 14, 15, 16, I would recall the first part in which we dealt with, uh, sorry, second part, yeah, second part, which we did with section 4 and 5. With, it was about signature and record, records and signature. Records, we have three, and fourth was legal recognition to electronic record. Then, then we have 3A for electronic signature and 5 for legal recognition of electronic signature. Good. Now, 10 was the power of the central government to issue electronic rules, power of central government to make rules with regard to electronic signature. Now, if we add 10 over here, remove the electronic signature at that moment of time in, in your thought. But if you add 10, means power of government is coming in there. So, we are getting some security. So, 10 plus 4, 14, secure e-record. 5 plus 10, 15, secure e-signature. So 4 is legal recognition plus 10 we give secure 14 as e-record. 
5 legal recognition of e-signature plus 10 15 that is secure e-signature cool. now 14 is secure e-record and 15 is secure e-signature both of them combine then you go to 16 that is secure procedures and practice everything if this record is proceed is secure signature is is uh, secure then the procedure and practices to issue or to authenticate the electronic record must also be sec secure that is 16 cool. so let's do a quick recap Signature misuse 71, 73, 74. 71 giving the wrong information by the applicant to the controller or the certifying authority. 73 penalty for publishing electronic signature certificate false in particular in certain particular. So the issuer of certif electronic signature certificate has made some mistake. 74 you have the correct information, you have the correct signature, everything is good, but you are using it for fraudulent purposes. And 74. Now 14, 15, and 16 for record of for e for for e records five for e signature four for legal recognition ten at and fourteen that is secure e record five plus ten fifteen that is secure e signature and once the records are secure signatures are secure then authentication and the issuing process must also be secure that is secure procedures and practices. So I guess that's part four. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Happy reading, all the best and thank you. Baby out.